Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've shared with you all. I thought I would share a devotional this evening with you. There's so many stories going around right now, so many conspiracy theories and reports and hearsay and so much on social media, so much word of mouth. It's it's just hard to know what to believe that's going on in this crazy chaotic time that we live in. And I see many people that are buying into a lot of these things and believing them. And as many people just, they want to know and, and even speculate, they, they'll speculate about when um, these events that are taking place and how they play into end times in the Bible. <clears throat> and I was in Acts chapter 1 here in verses 6 through 8. Um, this is, of course, after Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, and Jesus appeared to them. And uh, it says, So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, Will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. And he goes on to say, But you will receive power when, you, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Jesus plainly tells them, those aren't things for you to know. Those future, the future events that you're asking about aren't for you to know. You don't need to know future events. <laughs> and back in Matthew chapter 24, the disciples are asking Jesus questions as well. Um, there's the section talking about... Um, well, it's talking about the return of Christ, the, the second coming of Christ is mainly what this is talking about. But again, Jesus says, concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven nor the Son, but the Father only knows these things. And back in, uh, or late, then later on, verse 44, therefore you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. And I want to encourage you all just to stop trying so hard to, to find answers and to listen to that report and that story and follow that individual that uh, is saying these things about, um, about what's happening and maybe some of them are kind of far-fetched, but a lot of people are following them, so maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe it's true. I want to encourage you, simply be ready. Just be ready. Live for the glory of God right now as a son or daughter of Jesus. And just be ready. Simply put, some of these things aren't for us to know. They're just not for us to know. So, um, well, how, how can you be ready? Well, first and foremost, you must know Christ as your Savior. As John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever believes in him, whoever has belief, faith in Christ, is ready. And I want to encourage you all, be ready. Make sure you are right with God. Understanding that Jesus is the only one who came to die. Of course, he came to be born. We just celebrated at Christmas. Be born in a manger came. That God being, you know, in an amazing way, uh, Mary being a virgin, conceiving, bearing this this child from God, the Holy Spirit, Christ being born to eventually 
die on a cross so to, to redeem mankind. He died for, the, for sin, the sin of the world so that those who put their faith in him might have forgiveness of sin, life everlasting, and right now, life abundant. So don't forget that part. Yes, we're excited about being knowing that when we die, we're going to heaven, but we have abundant life right now when, when we put our faith in Christ and, and he is on the throne of our lives. We have abundant life now as we walk with him, as, as we live for him. And we know we have a purpose. We have peace through all of this strange stuff that's going on in our world. We can have peace as we have fellowship with the God of the universe through faith in Christ. I want to encourage you to do that. Simply just be ready. Not everything is for you to know. Have a great evening.